Hello. What's up? How are you doing? I'm awesome. You're in LA, I heard. I am. Yeah, I'm in LA. Yeah. Slow starts, a little gloomy today, a little rainy. It is a bit. I was quite excited about the rain, though. Yeah, I know, because it's oh. been really nice. It has, yeah. It reminds me of home as well, whenever you get a bit of rain here. Yeah, the sort rare the cast. Once yeah. Maybe. <laughs> right. Well, we can't wait to talk to you about Love, Victor. Are you excited for it, season two to be coming I'm out? I'm so excited. I'm so excited, yeah. And there's been such a like cool buzz around this one, and like it's just cool. It's just a, it's a really cool time. And my parents are coming out as well for they'll be here for like the launch of it. I haven't seen them in a year and a half, so all the more friend. reason to be yeah. excited. Yeah, it's been a year and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, you're just been a been FaceTiming nonstop. FaceTiming. We were very optimistic at the start and were like, let's do family Zoom cook-alongs. And we, we did a few of those where we would make curries together and stuff like this. And then and then eventually we just, you know, that kind of went out the window and we just out. went back to, yeah, yeah. Oh well, that's going to be so exciting. You're going to finally see them. Yeah, when I'm so were, excited. Picking them up Wednesday. When you were filming the show for season two, were you, were they did you FaceTime them from set how was that sometimes yeah sometimes in my trailer and, st- and stuff like that because I always get a kick out of that you know yeah um but yeah sometimes especially on the lots um especially season one because we filmed at Paramount season one and you can see like the Hollywood sign and it's very like there's those huge art deco like yeah. lettering on the side of the buildings like stage five and whatever and like it just is so sort of picturesque of what you think you know what you think of when you think of making something in in LA so it was I would film that yeah where I'd FaceTime them sneakily from from set sometimes yeah (laughs) how are you feeling since the season one trailer coming out everybody like buzz around that versus this season Mm -hmm. two trailer just dropping and knowing it's coming out like what's the difference there's definitely a difference I think now because it's global and like it's international whereas the first one was just for the U.S totally um like it was like okay the season one's gonna come out in the u.s first and then it kind of like came out um in the uk and around the rest of the world after so i think it's just got a bit more of an audience this time and it's found a bit more of an audience um yeah and i think especially now the show is on hulu instead of disney plus that it's a little more um open a little steamier yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little more you can t- you can just tell a bit more um adult stories really and be a bit more sort of realistic about other areas of being in a relationship when you're in high school and stuff like that so it's yeah. it's cool yeah and I think that trickled through the trailer and that got people more excited too mm-hmm. and how would you describe season two in three words oh three words yeah um uh, I would say it's <laughs> celebrating yourself is that two words or is that is that three we can group it as we'll group it as one if you want two more okay yeah okay we'll group that as one celebrating yourself oh it's tough when you have to narrow it down like this um celebrate yourself and is it shocking is it suspenseful is it shocking yeah it is it is all those things it's it's a little more um (laughs) It's just hard to narrow it up to boil it all down, but I would like to three words, you know, but I would say it has a uplifting, positive message through some of the difficult realities of um, coming out. But at the end of the day, it's about celebrating who you are, embracing who you are. Um, And so I don't think that's three words, but (laughs) maybe I can boil it down to three words. <laughs> three sentences yeah. we'll say <laughs> yeah yeah that that's sorry I, I i overran it you're totally good okay so then we're gonna play a game based off the show okay so it's the game okay, of yeah. what if yeah. so i'm gonna give you a list okay. of scenarios and you're gonna answer as benji and like victor and then the last three are about your like the per your personal life okay oh, okay so so i answer the first two questions in character in character you're well, benji as, the, now. as the character yeah Uh, okay let me just get my american accent on (laughs) (laughs) so if victor and benji went on vacation where would they go and who would they go with you can say just you two too 
yeah, they'd have to go just those two. They're in their, their summer bubble of love when you first see them in this season. So they would get away to a tropical island and they'd be sipping on pina coladas. Well, maybe not. Maybe, not, uh, not just alcoholic. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I can't give anything away about stuff yeah. that will happen in the next season. But yeah, <laughs> not our garlic ones. Yeah. Perfect. And um, that would be it. Yeah. On a tropical island. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if Victor and Benji were going through something like a fight, who would Benji ask for advice? I was just about to give a spoiler away then. Um, go ahead. He would he would go to <laughs> I can't uh, I get in trouble. Uh, he would go to there is some there is someone he would go to for advice, but you will figure that out when you watch some of the later episodes. And then also he would probably go to um, his bandmates. Gotcha. We're just gonna yeah. have to wait and see. That's and they can just they can just hash it all out in the jam session. <laughs> Okay, so if you're you were going to announce your relationship on social media, so basically combining the show with like real life, so you're going to announce your relationship on social media. You're going to post a cute picture. What do you think you would caption the photo, like letting social media know that you guys were in a relationship? Oh, I'm I'm really private about that stuff, so I don't know if I would. But if I had to, I'd I would be ambiguous about it and put an emoji. I would put the uh, I would put the um, the ghost emoji. I don't know why. <laughs> I just thought of that so feels right feels right in your heart <laughs> feels right yeah yeah <laughs> and then you tag him or at him or not even you wouldn't get a tag or you he'd get a tag I would hashtag he gets a hashtag no I tag, tag. I tag him <laughs> I tag him or maybe I do it in the story and then like you know when you make the name like unreadable so they can just repost yeah, really. it themselves do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay if Victor and Benji had their own song what would the song be um, obviously. It would be a duet with um, Victor on the keys and Benji on the guitar, and they would be singing. Um, are they writing this song, or is it one that's already out there? A anyone that's already out. Anyone that's out that's yeah. already out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, my mind keeps saying Frank Sinatra. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe a Frank Sinatra song yeah. there we go <laughs> okay so this is real life your cast you and the cast like no show okay get out of character no more mindset okay uh, no, bye bye Benji yeah okay so the whole cast like is hanging out you're like okay let's do something what would you guys decide to do like, what do you guys do for fun um maybe we'd go to Cafe Gratitude uh, which we, we would do sometimes because we'd be filming nearby. Um, other things, uh, sometimes, I mean, I love to go around Michael's and we have a big jam sesh. Um, some people some people come along to that and every, because Michael has like every instrument you could want to play. Yeah. Um, so they're really fun, actually. They're really fun, those jam sessions. Or we just go get a, um, maybe maybe a beach day, actually. That'd be nice. That'd be like, we, kept, we said we wanted to do a beach day and we can get around to it, yeah. You yeah. will. Summer, summer. Yeah, yeah we'll, get, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then if you get really good news, you personally, who is the first person from the cast that you call to let them know? Ooh. Oh, oh, God. Um, <laughs> um, group chat? No, uh, that's a group <laughs> out. Um, uh, who would I tell first? Honestly, I could tell any of them. It depends. It just depends who I'm closer to in that moment or who, yeah. who I'm talking to more regularly. Um, that's difficult. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Honestly, I could tell them. I could tell all of them. Maybe Michael. Maybe Rachel. BB. Mason. Just list the whole cast. And to name a few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> group chat it is. Group chat. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. That was that was the whole game. The what that's if? The, that's the game. game. Yeah, I mean, we oh, wow. also have a time limit, so I can't keep you forever. I have oh, more okay. questions, but you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Congratulations, June eleventh on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. Good to talk to you. And have fun with your parents. That's gonna be so nice. I will. Yeah. I'm so excited. Tell Thanks. them Young Hollywood said hi, even though they'll have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll I'll pass that on. I'll pass that on. <laughs> 